show on the road. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am bringing you what is inside my Ipsy bag and my Ipsy Glam Plus box for the month of August. I have quite a few things to say about this, so if you're ready, then I'm ready, so let's get started. Before we get started, I do want to say welcome to all of our new family members out there, and in case you're not familiar with me yet, my name is Melissa Leah Garrett, and I'm a cruelty-free makeup and beauty reviewer. I'm a makeup enthusiast, a plus-size beauty, and a PNH and ITP fighter. If you'd like to know more about those two diseases, there are videos down below in my playlist that you can check out. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join the fam and hit that notification bell. Therefore, you know when I'm posting, even though I mainly post on Tuesdays and Fridays. Also, give this video a like while you're at it. I am not a happy camper right now when it comes to Ipsy. I've had my Ipsy Glam Plus box for about two weeks now, and I just got this one today, Thursday, which is the 19th, 20th? I think it's the 20th today. I don't know my, I don't know my days anymore. And I was upset because I wanted to get this video filmed and I got some really cool stuff in my Ipsy Glam Plus box that I really wanted to show you guys, but I had to wait for this thing. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump on into it. All right, let's go ahead and start with the Ipsy Glam Plus box. Reason why I wanted to start with this one is because they changed it up for August and I think they're doing it from now on where you can where they'll pick two items for you and then you pick three items um, I did do that this month so I do know three of the items that I'm getting plus my add-on which is so cool I'm so excited that I was able to get this um, but I don't think I'm gonna keep doing that going forward. I think I just, I, I really do like the surprise of when I get my bag and unbox it for you guys. So I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore. Um, I may, you know, do the one pick your item that, that they had before, but I wasn't too keen on picking three and already know what they were. So let's go ahead and get into this. And they actually changed it this month. It's not a, a box anymore. It's a bag. And it looks like this, which is, it's really cute because I can use this as a travel bag. Like this is perfect for my makeup brushes. So I actually do like this bag. And I got a couple items on the outside, which one is my add-on and the other one is an item I picked. So here's the card. It says, August 2020, the future is yours. It says, look forward to a bright and shiny tomorrow from achieving your glowy skin goals to discovering what lights you up inside and out. The future is in your hands with a glam bag plus that is even more personalized by you. And it looks epic. And on the back, it says, build your perfect bag. That's what they had started. Sorry for the siren in the background. That is what they have started going forward. Um, it says, now thanks to ultra personalization, you can build your perfect bag on the first of every month. Don't miss out on these amazing features. Like I said before, I don't think I'm going to do this next month. I'm just going to let them pick. Maybe I'll pick one item. So yeah, it says Ipsy picks two items. Then you choose three of your five full size items and you could add up to eight additional products. So yeah, if you guys want to get in on that, it does start from September 1st through September 3rd. And there's no information about the product, so that means I gotta look up the prices again. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead. I wanna show you guys the add-on that I got. I am so stoked to get this. I was hoping I would get it in my bag, but getting the add-on was worth it. And it's the Venice Fling Palette with Bailey Sarian and Estate Cosmetics. I love Bailey Sarian. She is so amazing. I actually want her to be like my best friend. <laughs> and when I saw this, I was like, I gotta have it. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I cannot wait to play with this. It is so pretty. Yeah, I, I can't wait to play with it. I might do a tutorial with it on this channel. But I was really stoked to get this as my add-on. So the first 
item that I picked is from LaRouche, the um, expensive as all get out brush brand. Um, I do believe this is a set of face brushes, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is. Let's open it up. Okay, we got a set of four face brushes. We have a flat angle brush, which I don't like these kinds of brushes. I don't like them. We have the contour blending brush. We have a kabuki brush. I think I have one of these already. And a tapered face brush. I think I got a kabuki brush in the last set I got, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. This next product is another product I picked. It is from Murad. It is the Resurgence Renewing Eye Cream. Verm, verm, I can't talk. <laughs> Firms and visibly reduces dark circles and wrinkles. So I think I'm going to use this after my Pearly's, um eye cream wears out. So I'll use this when I do my makeup. The next product is a product that Ipsy picked for me. It is from the brand 111 Skin. It is the, cry the Cryo ATP Sports Booster. Whatever this is. And the box is broken. That's awesome. Now this brand is not cruelty free. So I'm not keeping this. Um, I might pass this along to one of my relatives that does skincare. I'm not going to give it to my nieces because it's way too, way too bougie for them. <laughs> but I'm either going to pass this along to one of my relatives that um, does skincare or I'll put it in a giveaway. Just be warned, it, the box broke. We have the second product that Ipsy picked for me and I'm really stoked to try this. It is from Huda Beauty and it is the Demi Matte Cream Lipstick. It is in the shade Boy Collector. Y'all know I love me some reds. And I actually like this formula. I got um, a sample of it from Sephora, one of those sample cards, and I actually tried it. I really do like this formula, so I am really excited to use this. This next product I actually got with my Ipsy Points, and it is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Copenhagen. And if I'm not mistaken, I may already have this. I have to double check. If I don't, I'm going to keep it. If not, I'm going to put it in a giveaway because I really do like their soft matte lip cream. And the last item was an item that I picked and it is from Alam Squa. It is the loaded lip polish in the shade Glaze. It looks basically just like a clear gloss. Alrighty, I am going to clean all this up and then we are going to see what is inside my Ipsy uh, glam bag. Alrighty, let's go ahead and see what's inside my regular Ipsy glam bag. I get it open. <laughs> Ooh, I like this bag. It's very holographic. I don't like the material. It's like that PVC material, but I do like the bag like the holographic part of it. Okay, here's the card. It's the same thing as the Glam Plus box. So let's see what we got first. This is cool. I got a Endless Silky Eye Pen from Pixie, and it is in the shade Matte Mulberry. Hmm. Looks more like a mauve color than the brown. Which that'll be really cool because I don't have an eye pencil like that. Ugh. I am really tired of getting stuff from this brand because my face does not like this brand. It is the brand Skin Regimen. This is the Energizing Illuminating Lotion. So this is going to go into a giveaway. Because like I said, my face does not like this brand at all. 
The next item we have is the item that I picked and it is from Sunday Riley. It is the Ice Ceramide Moisturizing Cream. Supposedly this is supposed to cool your face. From what I've heard, I'm really excited to try it. Okay, next up we have from IBY Beauty. It is a Lush Eyeshadow in the shade In Bloom. Ooh, I like the packaging. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I probably won't keep this because I'm not too big on um, single eyeshadows. But that is pretty. I might pass this along to my niece. And we have one more item. This brand's not cruelty free. It is from Glam Glow and it is the Bright Eyes Illuminating Anti-Fatigue Eye Cream. Like I said, this brand is not cruelty free, so I'll probably pass this along to one of my relatives that does skincare. I don't even know. <laughs> all right, I am going to clean all this up. I'm going to get the prices of all these products and I will be right back. So I have all the prices now and some of y'all might fall out of your chair because I almost did when I saw these prices. I was like, what? So we're gonna start with the regular glam bag first and then we'll get into the glam plus bag. Okay, the IBY eyeshadow retails for five dollars for this single the pixie um, eyeliner is twelve dollars the skin regimen for a 3.38 fluid ounce bottle is 75 dollars this brand is stupid expensive and my skin don't like it the Sunday Riley Ice Moisturizer, is that what it is, yeah? Moist Ice Shirt, yeah, Ice Moisturizer, I can't talk. Um, for a 1.7 ounce jar is $65, which we all knew Sunday Riley was ex stupid expensive anyways. And the Glam Glow Bright Eyes Moisturizer for a 0.5 ounce jar is $39. Now here comes the fun part. Y'all might wanna sit down while I talk about these prices. The Huda Beauty Demi Matte Lipstick is $20, which is normal. The 111 Skin product, this is $135. What the what is in this product to make it that stupid expensive? I don't get it. But wait. The LaRouche brush set. Four brushes. $134. Why? Why are these brushes that expensive? They're not really all that great to be honest, because I have the other set, and remember, I had compared them with a $10 brush set from Shop Miss A, and I like the $10 set better. But $134 for four brushes? That's insane. The Myriad Eye Cream <laughs> is $82, which we all know Myriad is pretty expensive anyways, but for some eye cream, what? My dark circle light has better be gone in like two hours for that price. <laughs> the Alam Squa Lip Polish, is that what it's called? Yeah, Loaded Lip Polish Gloss <laughs> is $25, which is to me way too much for gloss. And the Bailey Sarian Estate Cosmetics Palette um, retails for $30. I actually purchased this as an add-on for <laughs> Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this month, mainly because I picked most of my items when it came to my Ipsy Glam Plus. There are a few items I'm not going to keep. There's Glam Glow that's not even cruelty free, and then there's the skin regimen that my face hates. I think the main one that the main items I'm really excited for are the Huda Beauty um, lipstick, the palette, 
and the Sunday Riley Ice Moisturizer. I think those ones I'm more excited about using than anything else. So it, it was a step up from the last couple months, but not enough for me to be all like, oh my god, I love it. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now, and I have stupid expensive products. It's donk. <laughs> I will leave a link down into the description box if you want to sign up for Ipsy, Ipsy Glam Plus, or the Ipsy Ultimate box. Um, it is a referral link. I don't earn any money from it at all whatsoever. It's just there if you want to sign up. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Don't forget, all my social media handles will be down in the description box. Come on over. We have fun on those pages as well. I do not, however, have a Twitter account. So if you happen to see one with my face and this gorgeous smile, report it because it's fake. Also, all the products that I use to make this makeup look will be down in the description box as well. I love y'all so much and I will see y'all next time. Bye. $134 for four freaking brushes. That is insane. Then on top of that, $135 serum. I do have to check to see if I have this soft matte lip cream. I think I already have it. <laughs>